and welcome to Beads Jar. My name is Billy and on today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful limestone luxure cuff bracelet. For this lovely honeycomb project we're going to be using our cuff bracelet, two packs of the honeycomb beads, these size 11 matte um, Mayukis, a 0.4 gauge wire, side cutters and a pair of flat nose pliers. Cut a generous amount of your wire. I have probably suggest starting with at least a metre and a half and then we're going to take our cuff. So you just want to start by wrapping a section of the wire. So I'm just going to spiral round so we're just coming over the top and I'm going to do this four times so I'm making a coil of wire and we have a little lip of wire and I'm just going to make sure that that's not going to be sharp and sticking in so we're going to use the flat nose pliers and we're going to manipulate that round so whatever angle you need to take to get that wrapped over. So you make sure you're nice and happy with the start process on that. So we've got the four coils and I've nudged it up towards our middle section on the cuff bracelet. I'm then going to come across behind there and I'm just going to create a single wrap here and again we're going to move on to going up. So now the position of my wire is going upwards. So I'm going to pull that through and we can start threading onto the cuff. So I'm just going to move that to the side. So the end of my wire here, I'm going to thread four seed beads onto the wire. And then I'm going to use one of the beautiful honeycomb beads. So I'm going through one side and out the other. Another four seed beads. So, just to recap that, four seed beads, one honeycomb, four seed beads, honeycomb, four seed beads, honeycomb, and four seed beads. So that's the first part of the weave on this one. So I'm going to bring them back down to the cuff bracelet. So as you can see now, we have them on there. And I'm going to take that coil up to the top. So I'm at the top of the bracelet. And we're going to wrap round. So however is most comfortable for you to do this. I'm going to support that in with my thumb and I'm going to wrap. Just watch yourself with this wire, it's springy, so watch where it's flicking. I'm going to create four coil twists on this side as well. So I'm going to take another honeycomb onto the wire and take that down to the cuff. And then the next part of this is to go through the second hole in that honeycomb bead that we've got at the top. So we're going to go through and I'm moving the wire down. Try to avoid it getting curled in on itself because it's just more awkward to work with. So just keep releasing that wire as you work it down through the bead. If you get a twist just ease it out and just work it down.
So we're now back at the base and we're going to create our twist of four. So we're pulling that wire around four times. So I'm on the fourth loop and I'm going to take my wire back up through the second hole in the honeycomb bead. wrapping around. So you're just going to keep going with that same pattern all the way along until you get to this end where we go back to repeating this section. So we're nearing the end so I'm going to do my lot of wraps here um, before finishing off in the same method that we started so with the seed beads in between the last three. Luckily, as we've got closer to the end of the project, it's easier because you've not got as much wire to contend with. And I will also point out, we've actually covered this middle section on this cuff bracelet design, but if you wanted to, you could obviously still fill in the side parts as well with the same method for a really big effect, if you're brave enough. <laughs> As we get closer to the end of the project, the spacing is a bit more narrow, so be aware you've just got to take a bit more time to get all the beads threaded on, because it's harder to get into the gap. So we're now ready to do the last bit. So we're going to put our three, sorry, four seed beads onto our wire. And then go back through the honeycomb and add another four seed beads onto the wire. The reason I'm holding it like this is because we're running out of space so much on the side. So I'm actually going to try and get it as close to the honeycomb one without the beads falling off, just to uh, make it easier. straight through the honeycomb one and put the next four on.
I'm just struggling to find this hole at the moment. I'm just going to pull some of this wire through. I seem to have hit a stiff bit in the wire and it's not cooperating. Straightening it out a bit to pull that through. So I'm pulling the tension right there. And then we're going to put the last four on this end before coiling round. Just going to remove, I've got a bit of a wobbly end on the wire so I'm just going to take that away because I've still got plenty of wire left. I'm going to do another wrap here and then as we began the one on this side so we've got two little wraps to go round and we've got a bit of a narrow gap forming here so we're just going to do the two two loops round with our wire and then we take that under and over and we finish with the three like we started so under and over there and then round three times so we've got to our three wrap we're going to take some of the excess wire away leaving a bit of a tail about two millimeters three millimeters and then this is when we can use our flat nose pliers to secure the end on so I'm just going to rock them round the actual cuff so I'm spinning that edge in so it's finished nice and smooth and there's no sharp bits on the actual bracelet. As I said, we've done the middle section here, but if you wanted to, you could fill the two outer sides as well with the beads. But it's not really for the faint hearted. And then that sits beautifully like a tiled effect when worn. Thank you for watching and we hope to see you again next time. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and give us a thumbs up. Let us know any feedback or comments you have about our tutorials and we hope to see you again next time. Take care.